Hey guys, it's Layla again um, with the autonomic plexuses and ganglia of the head and the neck. Okay, our mnemonic goes two iPods played car soon prior outing caller tune two ipods played car soon prior outing call it tune if you watched my previous video you'll know that car soon prior outing has a meaning which is the same for this video as well i'm going to jumble the words up a bit so for better understanding so first we start with the neck uh, with the head sorry we have the head and then we'll move on to the neck so call it tune is for the neck and the rest is for the head so we'll start with car soon prior outing which was C S P O if you remember it was the ganglion so it was ciliary ganglion submandibular it was pterygopalatine Palatine and otic ganglion, right? And these are gonna write ganglion. Okay, and then we'll write um, parasympathetic here and sympathetic here, target here. Yeah. Now the first three letters, um, first three words. Sorry. So we write two eye ports. So we have two eyes. Played two played as well. So we have two p. Right, and that's it. That's for the head. Then we move on to the neck with our collagen which is our little c, which is the cervical ganglion. All right. So, now, the ciliary ganglion, you know, is from the oculomotor nerve, number three, right? You know the submandibular and the pterygoid palatina, number seven, facial nerve, and we know the otic is number nine, glossopharyngeal, right? Okay, now you also need to know the nerves, the parasympathetic nerves. So if you've got all these nerves, cranial nerves, along with their branches or their terminal nerves, okay? So with the ciliary ganglion, it's just the oculomotor nerve. With the submandibular, you've got the facial nerve, which leads into the corda, uh, sorry, submandibular would be the corda, tympani branch, tympani, I don't know what it's called, and the lingual nerve. Okay, for the pterygopalatine, you'd have the nerve of the pterygoid nerve of the pterygoid And the greater petrosal nerve. For the otic, you'd have the tympanic branch of the glossopharyngeal, panic branch, and the lesser petrosal nerve. Greater, lesser, greater, lesser. Okay, that's for the para. Moving on to uh, sympathetic, you've got the eye, which would be internal carotid plexus. Notice the ganglion for the para and the plexus for the sympathetic, okay? So internal carotid plexus, which is the same for this one as well. The P's would be plexus on facial artery 
and plexus on middle meningeal artery okay so along with the internal carotid plexus uh, for both of them this one no for the second one you would have the deep petrosal nerve nerve Okay, and that is it. Now for the target, obviously I've uh, told you before as well, but again, the ciliary, you've got the target is the ciliary muscle and the pupils, the pupillae. The submandibular is the lacrimal glands. No, the submandibular is obviously the submandibular and the sublingual glands. Submandibular and sublingual glands for the for the uh, pterygoid palatine you'd have the lacrimal gland glands and those glands in the palate or palate and the nose for the otic you've got the Rotted gland. Okay, that is it for the head. Then we move on to the neck. So the neck has got the cervical ganglion. There are three. There is a superior one, superior cervical ganglion, a middle one, and an inferior cervical ganglion. So all of the sympathetic plexuses, all I, I, P, P, two I pods played is in the superior, all of them are the superior cervical ganglion. So I'm going to write here, two I pods played. Okay? All right, so it's the largest one. And the middle one is the smallest one. Okay? So... You need to know that the superior cervical ganglion is adjacent to C2 and C3. The middle one is adjacent to C6 and the inferior one is to C7. Then you need to know the targets. So this one is the heart, head and neck. Right? This one would be the heart and neck. This one would be the heart, neck, lower neck, because C7, arm, and posterior cranial artery. Okay? You can, uh, you should know, you need, to, you need to know, sorry, two more things about the superior. You need to know that it leads to, it, um, from the ganglion, it goes to the carotid artery and then to the plexus, okay? So it uses the carotid artery as a transport system. And for the inferior, you need to know that it may be fused, it can fuse, with the T1 ganglion to form the stellet ganglion. Stellet ganglion. Okay, that is it. Uh, it's not that bad. Um, the next video will be about the autonomic plexuses and the ganglia of the thoracic and the abdominal regions. So you can hop on hop onto that one for uh, that information. Uh, so we are done here. It wasn't too difficult. Two white pots played. Carl soon prior outing. Collotune, and yep. Yeah, see you guys later.